For the second year in a row, Samsung has expanded its Galaxy S line with an active phone, the Galaxy S5 Active to be exact. With only a slightly different design and specs that mirror the original S5, the Active here raises two questions. What does it offer that's different? And is it really suited to the rough and tumble lifestyle? I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET, and here we go with the unit from AT&T. For the record, Samsung never claims that the S5 Active is a rugged device, and that's a good thing because it would hardly pass muster. True, a thicker plastic coating on the top, bottom, and corners will keep it from getting busted up like my S5 did after a tumble, and it's got these perfectly raised buttons on the front and on the sides that make it a lot easier to navigate with wet fingers or gloves. But without any grippy edges like we did have in the S4 Active, it is a little slippery. And since it's also a little bit wider than the S5, it also makes it a little bit harder to hold, at least for me. And those screw-looking nubs on the back? Yeah, those are just pure decoration. The S5 Active does have seals and gaskets to protect the interior from water and dust, but then again, so does the S5, which, like this one, is also rated IP67. Okay, so here's what is different. The S5 Active has this really neat convenience key above the volume rocker. You press it once and you'll pull up a new Samsung app called Activity Zone. This shows you a barometer, a compass, a flashlight, and a stopwatch. The flashlight has several modes in fact and even translates your text into Morse code. A menu in the app lets you add other shortcuts too, which does give you quicker access to opening, say, a separate app for running. And if you long press the key, you can launch the camera as well. This is the first time in a long time that we've seen Samsung do this, and you can adjust the settings so that pressing this button triggers the shutter. Remember that you can also take photos by pressing a volume button, and that you can use either of these techniques to take pictures underwater. This unit I've got here is a rather militant camo green, but you can also get the S5 Active in red or gray. Now I said that internally, the Active here is just as capable as the S5 with the same 5.1 inch 1080p HD display, the same excellent 16 megapixel camera, and the same 2.5 gigahertz quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor. So it is really fast. It also runs Android 4.4 KitKat and has Samsung's TouchWiz interface on top. That means that you get everything from Google Now and My Magazine to ultra power saving mode, the toolbox, private mode, and multi-window, plus a lot more besides. And yes, the S5 Active does have a heart rate monitor on the back. What it doesn't have though is the fingerprint scanner, and you'll notice that the charging port is the standard affair rather than the quicker charging that the Galaxy S5 has with its double barrel combination. So, how does the Galaxy S5 Active stack up? Well, it's certainly in the top of its class when it comes to features and specs, but there are sturdier phones out there. Still, if you think of it as a more robust, tactile, and outdoorsy version of the S5, then it won't let you down. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. Be sure to catch my full S5 Active review at CNET.com.